Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzanne and Brownlee Natural here with some more great content. Today, we're talking fall fragrances, you all. It's cold. When I say cold, it's not cool. It's cold. Woke up to 50 degree weather. So we're going to talk about my top 10 favorite Middle Eastern fall fragrances when we get back. So see you in a bit. Hi there, Leslie Suzette, all things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal in mind, everyone, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Today, we're going to have a top 10. I love top 10s. How about you? I try not to take too long, but just in case, you may want to go and grab a snack. But I don't know. I'm going to go pretty briskly, but I want to go slow enough to give you the information that I need you to have about each of these amazing fragrances. I am going to wear these in the fall. I love wearing these in the fall. It's a uh, pretty... Uh, Nice to have a variety of fall fragrances to wear. And so I'm going to share with you my top 10 Middle Eastern fall fragrances. And we're going to start with number 10. And it's none other than our Haramain Amber Oud Gold Edition. You all, this one is so fruity, so sweet, and so woody. But you all, the one thing I love about uh, Al Hermain's Amber Oud Gold Edition is that this one is one of my longest lasting fragrances. When I tell you I can put two sprays of this on and I can smell it on me and my clothes hours after I, I spray it on. And then if I spray it in my clothes the next day, I still smell it. This stuff is a beast. It is a beast. It's said that this is a direct clone, yes, of Herba Pura. And when I tell you it is sweet, it is fruity, it has a great base uh, dry down of woody notes and, and vanilla and musk. And this one is just beautiful for the fall. It goes into the spring well too, but for fall, this is amazing. You can wear it in the winter too because it's just that powerful, but it's a perfect fall fragrance if you want to smell like a fruit basket. And you all, this one is just great to wear in the evenings. You wear it in the day because it's pretty chilly. You can, the fall uh, weather can handle this, but at night, this is just a nice fruit basket of sexiness, you all. And I love it. At number 10, Amber Oud Gold Edition by Al Haramain. At number nine for the fall with a Middle Eastern fragrance is none other than Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Al Rehab's Choco Musk. You all, Al Rehab Choco Musk is just, what can I say? Perfect for the fall. It, the chocolate in this is like milk chocolate. Um, nighttime, daytime, I mean, you can just dress this up or dress this down. I can see myself in a beautiful pair of dark blue jeans and a white shirt or a white sweater. But I can also see myself wearing this, even layering this and wearing this at night with a beautiful uh, black skirt um, and uh what do you call it? What is it? Camel colored? Yes. Camel colored uh, mock neck or turtleneck. This thing, or oh, some leather pants and a caramel mock neck or turtleneck. This is just an all around fragrance to me because it's just like chocolate. I mean, you've got your chocolate greedies and all of those real luxurious chocolate fragrances. But if you just want to put something on uh, to stand alone or to layer, Choco Musk is your girl. I love her. She's got this powdery 
It's gourmand, of course, and sweet and creamy, but at the base, it's got that cream, that powderiness, and it's coming uh, with chocolate and musk. That's all you're getting, and I really love this to wear, and um, it's it's inexpensive. I think the last time I bought this, you all, it only cost me like $9.99 from Amazon. What a great fall fragrance, right? <laughs> Choco Must by Al Rehab. Okay, you all, coming in at number, what is this, eight? Oh, wow, we're going quick. This one, I really, really enjoy for the fall because you can do so much with this one. You can layer it, you can stand alone, but it still gives you that not so heavy because sometimes fall fragrances can be just a bit heavy or dense, but this one gives gives you that lighter note. And it's Batty Al Oud Sublime by Latafa. Absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be a clone of Kayali's um, Eden Juicy Apple. It has the top notes of, oh gosh, that's so good. It has top notes of apple, lychee, and rose with the mid notes of plum and jasmine. And then in the base, you're getting that beautiful moss, patchouli, and vanilla. You all, this Batty Out Sublime, uh, I think it's the apple, lychee, and rose that's really hitting me um, in the opening. It's so fresh. And you, it's always good to have a fresh fragrance in the fall, not to always go dense, but to have something fresh that you can grab and go and it still be alluring and sexy and beautiful. This one is a great brunch fragrance to me. I think just being able to go out to a fall brunch and wear something light but still be fresh, floral, sweet, as well as fruity. It's just, it. this one fits the bill, you all. I absolutely love it. It's great for that day that you're going to go uh, apple picking, the day you're going to go to a, uh, a state fair. I mean, it's just really nice. And you can dress this up or dress this down as well. I really enjoy Batty Out Oot Sublime by Latafa. And hey, why not? Let's go for it. At number what did I say? Eight? Ha <laughs> ha, Latafa's Batty Al Oud Sublime. Love it. Hey, you all, at number seven, this one, you've seen some shorts uh, of me talking about this one. This one is just, what can I say? Let me just tell you what it is. At number seven, we've got Nebras by Latafa Pride. Nebras by Latafa Pride. What a beautiful bottle. It speaks volumes. Let me tell you what I always say about this one. This one, is a uh, boss by day and sultry by night. Okay. So you can be the boss with this one during the day. And then you could take this and go somewhere at night and just be as sultry as you want to be. I could see the black or the dark purple lipstick at night. Ooh, too, too sexy at night. This one is supposed to be a dupe of Billie Eilish Eilish. Some say it's so much better. Than that. And I say it's just good, good, good. You all, this one is gourmand. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's fruity. And it is yummy. You're talking about red berries at the top with that mandarin orange. You're talking about in the mid, that cocoa, that vanilla, and that rose. And let me tell you, the base notes, you're going to dry down with that sugar, that tonka bean, that amber, and that musk honey. And this one, I'm telling you, boss by day, sultry and sexy at night. Let me tell you, this one for the fall into the winter can't be beat. This is Nebras by Latafa Pride. I think we're doing good. We're already to number six. And number six is a slept on fragrance, in my opinion. It's a Latafa. It's called Tot. Al Arabia Royal Blends. This one gets slept on. Look at the juice. Can you see the juice at the bottom? You all, this one, it's got top notes of, oh gosh, pineapple, cinnamon, right at the top. No doubt about it. Pineapple and cinnamon, almost like you're baking a pineapple upside down cake with extra cinnamon and sugar. In the mid, you get balsamic notes and vanilla. And then this dry down is going to come in with some beautiful coumarin, amber, and patchouli. One of my favorite dry downs. You all, this one is sexy. This one is fruity. 
This one is sweet. It's spicy, but it's creamy. That pineapple with those balsamic notes and that coumarin dry down. You all, this one is just absolutely yummy. Um, it reminds me, not at like an apple trot pie, but that pineapple upside down cake, like I said, with extra cinnamon. This one is just really, I feel slept on. It can be definitely a nighttime fragrance in the fall. It can cut through the winter. I mean, this one just a great fall to winter fragrance that will still give you that sweet and creamy essence. And I mean, it's just that girl, girl. I mean, if you don't have this one, um, I'm telling you, this one's great. I'm not recommending it because I don't, I try not to recommend, but this one, when I wear it, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't hear enough people talking about this one. So I think this is a slept on fragrance, but if you have it, let me know in the comment section below. At number six, yes, 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 Kaltab Al Arabia Royal Blends by Latafa. We are down to the top five Middle Eastern fall fragrances, you all. This one, wow, is new to my collection. I smelled it and it was love at first sniff. And it's all because of the best and beautifuls. You all said, hey, there are some vanilla fragrances out there, uh, Leslie Suzette, that you need to try. I got it and I fell in love and it had to be placed in my top 10 for fall. You all, this one is an all around, in my opinion, fragrance that's just perfect, came in perfect time for the fall. But to me, I think I could wear this all year long. And it is, oh, lyrical is what I call it, Angam by Latafa. Angam by Latafa, said to be a beautiful clone of Burberry Goddess. And I will admit, they were correct. You all, what a beautiful bottle. First of all, it has notes, uh, musical notes, and just the beauty of it with the gold trim. It's just beautiful. It makes you want to wear her. You all, this one is a beautiful clone of Burberry Goddess. It has top notes of ginger, mandarin orange, and pink pepper. It has in the mid, cocoa, lavender, and praline. Oh, so sweet. And then it dries down to a beautiful amber, musky, vanilla uh, a tone. It's just beautiful. This one is that pick up and go and be beautiful fragrance. Did I just say that? Pick up, go, and be beautiful type of fragrance. I think I'm going to have to coin that one. Pick up, go, and be beautiful type of fragrance. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, this is just absolutely gorgeous. No wonder people love Burberry Goddess so much when I smelled it for the first time. And then I got my nose on this uh, right after. I'm like, oh, wow, this is a great clone. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's that that pick up and go and be beautiful fragrance that is now in my fall uh, collection and in my top 10. You are Angam by Latafa. You all, here we go with number four of my top 10 fall fragrances that are Middle Eastern in nature. You all, this one is by Swiss Arabian and it's called Casablanca. Casablanca. Look at the dent in Casablanca. And I believe this is my second bottle. You all, this one, what can I say about this one? It is sweet, fruity, gourmand, and creamy. This one has notes of grape and apple at the top. And when I say when you spray this, you get that luscious grape and that juicy apple. And I'm like, if that was enough, if that wasn't enough, you come in the middle with that orris root and patchouli. So it does give me a slight powdery uh, uh, essence a bit when you spray it because of that beautiful orris butter and then that patchouli. And then it dries down to a beautiful balsam, vanilla, amber, and musk. You all, and this one is, I mean, pennies on the dollar. I'm telling you, I don't think I paid more than $20 for this. And it's just a beautiful fragrance. That just goes to show you, it doesn't cost a lot to smell good. Because this one, I would swear, 
to you that this was some type of luxury fragrance. That's just how much I enjoy this in the fall. It reminds me of apple pie. It's uh, not as uh, strong to me as the Wajan by Parfums de Marley because that definitely gives me the apple pie essence. But this one is a, a really close second. It is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, the juiciness of this. But yet the elegance of this fragrance is just mind-blowing for it being $20 or less. You all, at number four for the fall, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. You all, at number three. Oh, wow. I can't believe we're already at number three. This one is a perfect fall-winter fragrance because of the notes, because of the longevity, because of the performance. This one, uh, wow. This one, what can I say? At number three, Balatafa, Al Nishama. Perfectly unisex, everyone, Al Nishama. Uh, said to be a clone. Oh, wow. Said to be a clone of the one and only Paragon by Initio Fragrances or Initio Parfums. And this one, and Vintage Radio by Latafa. Now, I was told that, and I do have Vintage Radio. My husband has it. Vintage Radio is very close to uh, Paragon. This one has some notes in it that kind of plays with the clone, uh, uh, plays with the original. And I really love the take on this one. You all, first of all, this one has notes of Clary Sage, Bergamot. It has pink pepper. And you all, the mid note of plum in this. And I have this one. I'm going to wear this one this week. Um, and I'm going to uh, layer it. So make sure you watch my shorts when it comes to this one. I can't remember what day I'm wearing this. I've planned out the whole week to sun next Sunday. But this one is going to pair perfectly with um, one of the fragrance mists and lotions that I have um, on my shelf. But this one, really, to tell you the truth, it really doesn't need um, layering. I just do it just to play, be playful. This one is a standalone fragrance, everybody. it That plum is so juicy, so rare, so beautiful. It has uh, mid notes of plum, jasmine, and black pepper. And then it dries down to an amber, moss, saffiano leather, and patchouli. And that's where... I'm telling you, the transition comes in. That Safiano leather is so buttery and creamy. And I think that's where the creaminess of this fragrance comes in. But it's juicy, it's fruity, it's sweet. And then it's also spicy and floral. This one is a beautiful fragrance that I wear dressed up. Um, I enjoy wearing this when I have to go somewhere and I have to have go to an event where I get to kind of spruce up a bit because this is so nice. You will be smelled. You will, uh, everyone will get a whiff of you when you wear this one. And that's why uh, Al Nishama by Latafa is at my number three uh, category. Hey, I love this one. You all, here we are at number two. Uh, talking about fall Middle Eastern fragrances, you all knew you when you see this, you you just had to know that this was going to be somewhere up high because I talked about it and I kind of blamed you all for not telling me about this one or for not saying Leslie Suzette, you need to go right now and get this fragrance. It is none other than Ajwad Balatafa. And you all know I've got to put it up close because look at that. Just the beauty, the sheer beauty of this fragrance is just. <sighs> okay, let me just share the notes. <laughs> Ashwad has notes of at the top fruity notes in the mid, that beautiful rose and jasmine. And then in the dry down, you get that musk, that vanilla, that cedar wood and that amber. You all, the rose and the fruit. They said that this one is a, a clone or a close clone of Rose's Vani. Um, there are others that they mention uh, with this fragrance, but I believe I hear Rose's Vani more than uh, most. And this one is just an absolute beauty. 
not only is the bottle beautiful, but it is the absolute prettiest fall fragrance that I probably have outside of what I'm going to share at number one. This one is just, it. my number one, my number two serve two different purposes. This one is for just that day you want to be glamorous, okay? To me, this is a glamorous fragrance, but also if I want to wear my jeans and high heel boots um, and glam up like that with my black and gold um, blouse or whatever, I, I, I have this as that nighttime go-to. This um, is just beautiful for the fall and winter. Uh, I have the pink to pink that I'm going to share uh, later on um, in another video. Uh, but to me, that pink to pink is a an absolute perfect winter fragrance. So you'll see that one soon when I talk about just straight up winter fragrances. But this one, you all, absolute gorgeous, beautiful, floral, woody, oriental in nature fruity, sweet fragrance, and it is Ajwad by Latafa. At number one, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you should already know what number one is. I've been talking about this fragrance now since 2022 when it was released. I got it and I told Many of you that unless something groundbreaking came to knock it off, um, that it would be number one for fall. Um, just go back and watch my videos. Just go back and watch my videos. Go way back. Go as far back as you need to. Because when this came into my home, I not only said that it was the best fall fragrance in my collection, but I also said that this one was groundbreaking, it was beautiful, and that it would be in my top five backup bottle-worthy fragrances. And it still stands. Now, number two, really good, but nothing yet has been able to knock this one off the number one category. And that is Camera by Latafa. <laughs> Oh my, you all. And, uh, and just in case you were wondering, I brought this, the sister or the brother or whatever you want to call it. I brought that too. But, 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 number one, look at the dent, look at the dent, look at the dent. But I'm not worried. Why? Because I have two more bottles. <laughs> you all, Camera by Latafa was released in 2022. And it's a sweet, a gourmand, a spicy, and creamy fragrance. It is so perfect for fall when you're talking about pumpkins and apples and going and seeing the leaves fall from the ground, change colors, going to the state fairs, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It doesn't get any better in my collection than Camra. Camra has top notes of cinnamon, nutmeg. Think about you making those pumpkin and sweet potato pies. Bergamot, middle notes of dates. That's what does it for me, I think. The praline, the mahonio, the tuberose. Oh, my gosh. And then it dries down to this roasted tonka bean, this vanilla, this amber wood, benzoin. Uh, Aki Gala Wood and Myrrh, you're talking about all of the right spices. All of the right, I was about to say seasonings. You all, this right here, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a gourmand girl. I love sweet. I love spicy. I love gourmand. I love creamy. Um, and this one, you just don't get any better than this for fall. If you didn't have many fragrance, if you don't, fragrances, if you only had five fragrances on your shelf and you had this one for fall, you're good to go. Actually fall into winter. That's how excited I get about Camera. 
I can dress this up. I can dress this down. I can wear it standalone. Or when I'm feeling like I just want to just go out and layer, I can pull out my pumpkin pecan waffles, honey, by Bath and Body Works. And I can slather up and spray it up. And I will be getting compliments. I will literally be smelling myself all day long because it's just that appealing. It's just that appetizing. It's just that good. I'm sorry. I just had to go there today. It's not an advertisement. That's just how I feel about this fragrance. Chef's kiss, baker's kiss, kiss kiss, all kisses. Kamra Balatafa. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this top 10 of my Middle Eastern fall fragrances. I really, as you can tell, I really enjoy myself. You all know I can't leave without some words of inspiration. Uh, I got a question for you. Um, have you ever been through anything that really troubled you? Anything catastrophic? Have you been under, have, have you ever been under stress? Um, have you ever been worried? Um, have you ever just been depressed? Well, I just want to remind you um, that you can release that pressure because God says to cast your cares on him because he cares for you. It's a wonderful thing to be cared for. It's a wonderful thing to know that we could take all of these troubles, all of this stress, all of the worry, all of the heartache, all of the hurt and give it over to someone more powerful than us. And that for me is God. You all, there's a saying that says, let go and let God. I am encouraging you and inspiring you today to let it all go and let God handle it. That's my inspiration for today. I'm Leslie Suzette, all things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal in mind, everyone, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. I have fun today. I hope you did too. Um, if you have not subscribed, I'm asking that you go ahead and subscribe. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers, you all. And I would love for you to be a part of the best and beautiful community. If you're a part of that best and beautiful community, holla if you hear me. Put it in the comment section. Let's encourage some other folks to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead, everyone, and hit the like button. Yeah, all my subscribers and people new to the channel, if you don't mind and you got value from this content today, if you would, please hit the like button. That will help uh, my channel greatly. Hey, go ahead and share this information, this channel, this video with your family, friends, and loved ones. And what are you waiting on? Go ahead, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when Leslie Suzette is out with some great content. Well, you all stay tuned during the week. You can check out my shorts. I'm going to have a short for you every day because I'm layering, y'all. Layering combos are out there. And hey, go ahead. I think there's a video somewhere up here or maybe down here. Go ahead, somewhere. Go ahead and click on it because it'll show you some more great content from Leslie Suzette. Well, you all, until Thursday, I'll see you. Bye.